I bet you were thinking to yourself, oh yeah, there's this new Marvel show I should totally catch. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I bet you were thinking to yourself, yeah, I know it's out there. I'll just, I got to remember what it is and, and when it is. I'll, I'll get to it. And then you were like, Miss Marvel, who? That's right, friend. It's your main man Z from Our Views Will Kill You. And if you could do us a huge favor, please like and subscribe if you like our content here. It really does help us a great deal. We could use those extra subs. But today we're going to talk about Miss Marvel and some of the new articles that are coming out about it. This one in particular is from Forbes. Now I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I have watched both episodes of Miss Marvel. And I'm not here to rant about Miss Marvel, frankly. There's not that much to rant about. In all honesty, I think the lead actress is charming and she's kind of fun. I think the direction style is kind of unique and interesting. Things I don't like, there's not really a plot. We're two episodes in and I don't know who the antagonist is. Maybe it's her mom. I think many of the characters are little one note. I know nothing about her brother other than she wants to avoid him because he's ultra conservative or something like that. I think it's some of the, I mean, the plot of the first episode was something along the lines of, uh, I got a gift box from my grandma and I want to go to adventure con or Avengers con. <laughs> and then the episode, episode two, I'm trying to remember the plot was something about her friend wanted to run for Congress in her mosque because they're not nice to the women, I guess. They put them in a not-so-nice place. Again, I, I, I get it. This show's probably not for me, but considering that she's supposed to be the star of the uh, uh, the Marvels upcoming, I would think this character should be somewhat important. However, the character's completely unknown to people. It's a relatively new character, I think only created about 15 years ago. And the, the comic itself has been canceled, I don't know, four or five times. So it's just not that popular of a character. But what we're going to look at is how the show media will protect shows like this. Maybe because they're paid to. I don't know. But we're going to take a deeper look and just figure some things out here and see what we think. And again, I'm, I'm not here to rant about the show because frankly, you know, it's just a little, it's a little boring. And again, I don't really understand, you know, she gets her superpowers by getting a gift box in the mail. I'm, I'm confused. But either way, let's take a look at the article. Miss Marvel's viewership is reportedly much lower than the other MCU series. Much lower is a little bit of an understatement, right? It's, and, and this is strange too, because we will get back to this point, because I think it's important. Ms. Marvel is the best-reviewed uh, series in Disney Plus's MCU, now just 1% shy being the highest score scoring show or movie outside of Black Panther. Okay, let's keep it going. The reports of the viewership are significantly lower. They're reporting, Sama TV is reporting that only 775,000 households watched Ms. Marvel. That's lower than I think Batwoman was getting. Maybe it is. Ah, no, I think Batwoman was down to like 300,000. It's not good. Let's put it that way. WandaVision was 1.6 million. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, 1.8 million. Loki, 2.5 million, the highest. And Hawkeye, which is the lowest, 1.5 million. And Moon Knight, 1.8 million. And I have watched every single one of those shows from start to beginning. So I'm coming to you. Not as someone who claims to, like, I watch this stuff, people. I've watched all of it. And it will drive me a little insane. But again, Miss Marvel, am I going to recommend it? Probably not. Uh, but it's not necessarily meant for me either. So the report is citing higher viewership among Gen Z, Black, Hispanic, and Asian households. But it's still quite a ways off from others. It's less than half of their worst show, which was Hawkeye. Strange, right? Here's the reasons they're claiming. Miss Marvel's a brand new hero. Fair enough. Totally brand new. Okay. Even though Captain Marvel is not brand new, but Miss Marvel, relatively unknown. 
Lead actress is unknown, and it's not connected to anything else. Amon Vellani is totally nobody knows who she is, and she's she's like I said, I, I think she's charming. There's nothing necessarily wrong with her. I just don't think they, you know, I don't want to watch a high school drama with barely any superpowers in it. I want to watch a superhero show if I'm going to watch anything. They're claiming it's aimed at a younger crowd. It's the first PG-rated Marvel series. Okie doke. And they're they're also claiming it's being paired with Obi Wan, so Obi Wan is you know, knocking it out of the park, right? Uh, if you really want to see some ranting, listen to me rant about Obi Wan. But uh, the marketing was not great. Yeah, I knew about it because I'm an MCU person and I pay attention to all the MCU stuff. So of course I saw it. Watch both episodes the day after they came out. The third, or well, not third, but the the final reason is pa she's Pakistani American Muslim, and they've this this particular author has brought up the racism behind the review bombing of Miss Marvel on various sites. Okay, let's take a step back here, folks. Review bombing in your own article, you literally say this is the best reviewed series. 1% shy of being the highest scoring show or movie ever. Where is the review bombing coming from? Am I missing something here? What do you want it to be? 100%? Like, what are you talking about? So clearly, this article is skewed. They're protecting this, this show. And again, eh, the show's whatever. Not maybe my cup of tea, but maybe it's not that many other people's cup of tea either because they're not watching it, but... Again, it you know it's not getting. Where is it getting review bombed? Am I where where? So this is this is Forbes magazine, Forbes. This is the direct. I don't know what the direct is. I don't think it's it's nearly as popular as Forbes. But I wanted to prove like show you that there look there are other articles talking about the same thing. Miss Marvel suffers poor viewership versus other Disney shows, and they say the same thing. Despite the praise, there's an unusual loud minority of children review bombing the show. Where? It's the highest rated MCU show. Where is it being review bombed? Unless you're you're censoring it and we don't know about it. I, I just I don't understand. Again, Samba TV is reporting that it's the worst airing show. Uh it's it's worse. It's only behind what if? But what if is a cartoon? So not everybody's going to watch a cartoon. Again, they're, they're saying, why, why is it being... Why is it... Review bomb. Where's the review bombing? All right. Last one we're going to look at. Miss Marvel becomes top-rated Marvel show amid review bombing. My understanding of review bombing is that you tank the reviews with one star or unfavorable reviews so that it doesn't rate high. How is this the highest rated show then? Miss Marvel has a 97% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, leaping over Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as the top reviewed Marvel television show. What are you? I, don't, I just don't get it. It doesn't. They're saying that uh, IMDb and like it, it's just, it, I don't understand. The only shows rated lower on IMDb are Inhumans, which is pretty terrible, and Iron Fist, which people really, really hate. So, okay. They're, they reference, Forbes describes a re evidence of review bombing where it has a 6.2 out of 10 on IMDb out of 24,000 reviews. 28% uh, of them are 1 out of 10. The high disparity is often a sign of review scores sent to influence a specific rating. On Rotten Tomatoes, it's, I think it's 83%. Uh, apparently, Angry Joe got a lot of downvotes of, of Miss Marvel. Nobody's even watching it, so who actually cares? There's not that many people watching it. I just don't understand. It seems like a contradiction to me that you could say it's the top-rated show, but it's not. But... Anyway, those are my thoughts. Wanted to point them out to you because I thought it was interesting. This is where the manipulation from the media comes in. Make up your own mind. If you want to check it out, please do. I will tell you, without spoilers, there's no antagonist at this point. 
I don't know what the plot is. You know, she's a teenage girl with with problems, teenage girl problems, which is fine. Should be on the CW then. Without, I mean, it's fine. It could be on. I mean, I don't care. It's just not that interesting. And there's no stakes. I mean, she could be a street level superhero, whatever. But again, it's fine. It's fine. There's just nothing to rant about. There's there's nothing to rant about. Anyway, be sure to like and subscribe. We could really use the help. That would be fantastic of you. Uh, be sure to catch our full length audio podcast, which we live stream Friday nights on YouTube. We do it 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. And you can download the podcast itself for free on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those other great places and more. Be sure to catch us on the next one because I am on to the next one. Thank you.